so we won nice we won we got some points we got some victory points already so that will be really really nice sub guys it's 10 kosh and this is archer forest beginners guy that will teach you to be really efficient in the game with a free to play player let's go so okay there are a lot of things that i can teach you about this game already after playing it for a while this is a fun game and it have some pretty cool mechanics as well but the main thing i can advise you guys is to get the ld player on the pc that will allow you to play this game and all other android games on the pc and do things such as macros such as leaving it on overnight and don't drain your uh, phone battery and overheating it and risk it dying and a lot of other things so the download link will be in the video description what can we do with the ld player if you don't have no ad pack i strongly recommend you guys buying it if you want to play this game long term it gives you a lot a lot of cool benefits but if you don't you won't have auto production you won't have auto skill you won't have auto gold purchase here all those things i think they're activated by no ad pack i'm still on the one that is being rewarded for free on the first day and i advise you guys to utilize it to the maximum but what you can do you can press here record a macro start recording click here 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 that will give you the purchases here 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 to activate the skills stop it um make a script out of this make it loop forever save run and now it will be clicking all those buttons by itself and while you're sleeping you will be doing all those upgrades you'll be using the skills without actually buying no ad pack you can do the same thing with the uh, let's stop it for now you can do the same thing by going here and uh, creating those things it will work but merging will be problematic you can't really merge them with macros because yeah it doesn't work so for auto merging you might want to go for production and auto production and auto merge here upgrades those are very efficient for your offline progression if you want to play it offline uh, i mean i know <laughs> yeah if you want to leave it running in the background so yeah that's for the automation now for the progression how do you want to progress first of all try to get your best heroes up here and running you might want to invest some diamonds into those upgrades diamonds are hard to come by though you won't get infinite amount of those you will get some of those every day from the post from the mail from events from other sources so make sure to use them properly and from the tasks you want to follow the tasks and um you really don't want to spend all your diamonds straight away for the summons or something because at some point you will get the quest to summon archers and if you don't have enough diamonds for that you won't be able to do that so for now we got a task to kill the boss let's talk about the boss then the boss then is kind of fun because well um as you progress further and go to the higher stages you will get more and more of those clear reward cards and those are very powerful they will just make your game so much better and you might want to change your deck for this for single target damage if you got away build change to single target go for it one more thing on the emulator you can instead of clicking like this make auto clicker so it will click like this so you will decimate the enemies let's use all the skills and the boss is down pretty easy so you can manually assign the skills here and use them at the proper time to clear the rewards you will get those cards and those cards are really really cool uh what do they do they will help you to make your game better faster stronger and such so those cards they will give you passive bonuses and they well the more of those you have the better it will be basically now we got 200 extra damage just for the attack cards uh 0 0.01 attack speed it's not that high but it will add up as we will kill bosses we will get more and more cards and the higher rarity cards give you higher bonuses than the lower tier cards and yeah those if you get additional cards they multiply so it's really nice since we're talking about upgrade mechanics let's talk about the runes as well runes are the things that you can get well mostly from the store right now maybe there is other way to get the runes like events is one of those later on and they will give you quite a nice bonuses as well and you can get those runes from the store i'm about to die right now let's speak about um prestige then rebirth mechanics let's take those guys out we're not ready for that yet the further you are in the current stage the more of those prestigious stones you will get rebirth stones and the higher your 
stage is, the more of those bonuses you will get as well. On the second area and higher, you will get the debuff for your attack speed. So before going there, you might want to get your attack speed up a little bit. And the further you are, the higher the debuff will be up to 92%. But at the same time, you will get more and more rebirth stones on every run. So right now, if we will do the rebirth, we will get 23,000 stones, which is way more than we could ever get on stage uh, one, on, on map one, basically. There we go. We are dead. And don't worry, if you are idling, you will automatically reset and start over. So you will start saving up those rebirth stones. You can use diamonds to get double of that, but I don't really recommend it because they will be spent elsewhere like you don't want to spend diamonds on anything but the things that we will mention in this video i think so since we're here let's talk about merging your anvil have limited amount of craft slots then you can merge them several times and uh, the higher you merge the better basically your level is dependent on the merge level of your items so you really would like to merge them as high as possible my height is level 18 right now right yeah and you can do something like this, if you want this level 15 arrow and you want to uh, take it away from that character, you can put some crappy one over there and use it to merge over here to get the higher tier one. That might uh, be useful if you want to push something a, a bit higher, some arrow a bit higher, because some arrows unlock the new game modes for you, like uh, arrow level 40 unlocks the guilds for you and that kind of stuff. Another thing, if you want to switch your character, you can uh, click here, change uh, deck. You, if you want to switch your character, make sure to equip him with the crappy arrow, because otherwise he will live with your high tier arrow as well. That will be sad. All right. Now, this button over here will refill your use of forge. I will turn on auto production right now because I'm too bored to do it manually, to be honest. It's fun for a while, but it gets tiresome pretty fast. There we go. So, uh, if you're out of those anvil pieces, you can use this one and it will fully refill it. The amount of tokens down there is the amount of refills you can use, so... You can rush it, you, it's the best idea to rush it in your first days when you got that automation add if you want to, or, well, basically, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have no add pack, that will be really useful. If not, I mean, it might help you while you actively play, but outside of that, that won't give you that much. So, okay, now, what do you do with the rebirth stones and diamonds? You do upgrades. You can upgrade your characters. Uh... This is a secondary thing for me, because I think upgrading characters helps, but doesn't help you that much as upgrading your production. But if you're upgrading your characters, make sure to upgrade their attack speed instead of their attack, because attack gives just a flat bonus. It's useful early game. You can do the reset as well. There we go. And when you do this reset, you will get the rebirth stones back. So that's quite a nice option for you. But yeah, try to focus on attack speed, crit, crit damage and skill upgrade maybe. So yeah, work on your top heroes that are equipped give them some attack speed that will help you so much in the game and uh yeah everything else should be spent here on the upgrade menu so what can you do with those upgrade stones you can get some basic attack and i already did that that's actually pretty nice it's cheap and nice specifically early game you can get some crit damage which is nice everything else here costs diamonds first we'll talk about the um, prestige stones uh reverse stone there we go so what do you want to do with them? If you play the game with uh, auto production, no ad pack or anything, you would like to max out your fast production first because that will give you crazy income of arrows. That's really, really efficient. Moreover, you want to invest some of those into the arrow storage slots. You will need them later on anyway. And uh, this is not useful. This is useful if you're playing this game manually and you're clicking the, it from time to time. That will help you to get more uh, arrow production. That means more slots in your anvil. That also helps you to get higher uh, efficiency of those tokens for refill of anvil because it will refill more slots. If you don't do that, you don't want points spent here. You would like to increase the level of produced arrows as high as possible because that means that you will be merging less, you will get the higher lower tier arrows and that, but it's getting expensive pretty fast. You don't want to overdo it too much, so you would like to overdo quest production. That's what I do over here because um, that's what's useful for me while we have this no ad pack running. And I make that out pretty cheap. It costs me like 20 thousand of those rebirth tokens and now it's maxed out so yeah so if you're playing it with no ad pack i would suggest going for 
uh, level produced arrows as high as possible and then the rest will go towards other areas. Maybe even towards your characters, to be honest. Then you have the gold upgrade over here and the gold upgrade, uh, it resets on the rebirth. So, if you have the no add, you can activate this thing. Bam, it will do even upgrades of everything based on the cost. It's pretty nice. Not that efficient, but better than nothing. I mean, you will get basic upgrades here. If not, once again, you can use LD player to get the most important things up. But other than that, ju just keep it going. Nothing special over here. For the manage, I suggest getting some upgrades here for diamonds, the cheap ones. A uh, heal expansion is really important, it will allow you to get more heroes up there if you get some cool heroes. If you don't get some cool heroes, it won't help you that much, but overall it's a good thing. Same for other upgrades, they are not that efficient once you start spending more stuff over here and it gets more expensive. For attack upgrades, I mean, some of those are really nice since you can spend the uh, rebirth points over here, that will give you some extra attack, it's always nice to get some extra, although... It's not crazy efficient as well. That's like low priority here. Uh, you would like to get some attack speed here for sure. Specifically the cheap ones that will increase attack speed of your character quite a lot. So really nice. Lightning damage is only for active plays. So if, whoa, hello there. That was nice. So if you're playing game actively and specifically if you're using the auto clicker like I do here for massacring the things with the lightning that might be good if not if you're playing it idle you don't really want to invest too much over here even the auto lightning here come on it's not that crazy so yeah best investment of your diamonds specifically early on will be investing into the level of arrows or most likely into the additional heal expansion because that will allow you to get more heroes be sure to save up some diamonds because right now we got the quest to get to summon archers and, and if we spend everything we won't be able to do that so now let's go do summon archers bam we got some cool guys here actually that's pretty unexpected and we can finish the quest and keep going so right now let's talk about the heroes and their level as you level the guys up they will increase their skill and stats as well probably but mostly the skill and uh yeah, you can compare the damage of characters if you equip them with the same arrows. So his damage is 485, it's not that crazy, but his active skill is increasing attack speed of all teammates. So if you combine this skill with the skill of uh, Kawil, who we got lucky with, who get uh, uh, active skill is increasing his attack speed, all together you will take out the bosses and strong enemies no problem. Oh yeah, don't forget that you can reset the stones from the character that you don't use. For example, we have Bunny that we don't use. We can reset him and use those stones on someone else. So yeah, attack speed for the victory. <laughs> I don't remember if I told you already, but if you need some arrow leveled up, you can unequip someone the arrow they have. So for example, I want this level 18 arrow. I will put crappy arrow over there, I'll get level 19 arrow here and get level 20 arrow for this guy. There we go, and we got the achievement pack that will give us another arrow and arrow stone and we can do this by watching an ad, but since we got no ad pack, we can get it for free. And in my opinion, you should go for those offers most of the time. We got PvP unlocked, that's nice. So PvP, you get those tokens that refresh every day. I think you can get automatic PvP, so it will be done automatically. I want to do it manual. Let's go and fight someone and see how we will be able to survive this. Uh, I haven't changed my name yet, though. It seems... Oh, so we are competing who kills more enemies. And we are losing this. I don't really know why. Because we didn't use the skills at all. Let's use up the skills and that will decimate the enemies way faster. There we go. And honestly, I think we should be winning this no problem. Because as you defeat the enemies, they will go towards the enemy and, and, and that kind of stuff. So we won. Nice. We won. We got some points. We got some victory points. And there we go. Yeah, every point recovers every two hours, so you gotta wait a bit. You can refresh the fight if you don't like your opponents, but I think those will be limited refreshes, so you won't be able to do it the whole day. For the season, for the ranking, you will get some specific victory points, but you gotta be in top 500 at least to get some. What you can do with those? First of all, you can buy some characters here, some really cool characters, mind me. Really nice guys here, and uh, you can get some diamonds, you can get some boss tickets and arrow stone. Also, 
you can do the upgrade and that will be really powerful uh what's nice here Increase the level of produced arrows. This is a no-brainer. That will give your arrows additional level for those things on top of what you have already. So that will be really, really nice. Try to get this one first and then follow. Uh, critical damage is nice. Pens, not sure that it's that important, to be honest. So I think this one, then this one, and this one, arrow production max. Again, if you are using those arrow stones, that will be good. And then go for the hero that you like. Amount of arrow production for rebirth tokens is really low, so you can get maximum 10 of those. Don't worry about that, that doesn't uh, last that long. So yeah, now when we use one token, we will get 20 of those arrows instead of 10. That's double efficiency. So yeah, maybe you want to save those up till the time when you get most of those upgrades done and you get the highest tier of arrow being produced and that kind of stuff, so that might be useful in the late game. Up to you. But yeah guys, mostly try to follow this questline and don't rush too far away from it. Do the boss to get all the bonuses, do the quests, do the um, events, and all that will guarantee you to get a lot, a lot of rewards and you will progress way faster. And yeah, with those guidelines that we made here, it should be no problem even as a free-to-play player. Although no ad pack, make it more convenient for sure. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this video down below in the comments. Write anything over there that will promote the video in YouTube algorithm just as your likes and subscribes. Do that. And uh, check out the video description for LD Player, my other YouTube channels, social media, Discord, and other useful stuff. You will find something useful there for sure. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stay and push out. Have a good one. Bye.